Welcome back to Control. Last episode, we completed the tier one of the jukebox expedition thing. I want to get all the way to tier three, both for the absolute rewards and also for the expedition gear, especially. That's honestly the thing I want the most. But first, we have to do tier two. Gotta be honest, I'm kind of worried about it because tier one was pretty challenging. And tier two is supposed to be more challenging. Goes from challenging to Highly challenging. Um, <sighs> Enemy weapon damage plus 100%. Player ammo recovery plus 50%. Well, that's good for us at least. Double damage. Double damage. Alright. Sure. Good thing is if I die, I can still keep trying without starting a new expedition. Now I know that you just respawn back at the beginning if you die. I'm probably going to die, but I'm going to have to play very carefully. Most of the time I play in a kind of fun way, but... That fun way is also kind of not careful. I think I'm going to have to take a lot of cover. I suppose just staying put and using my shield might be a great thing to do. I never really thought of not trying to fight back, but... Yeah, this is a really good idea, actually. No, I don't know if it's going to work against the ones that come up to me and explode my face, though. Will it protect me from that? <laughs> that almost hit me. Okay, that one is very easy. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Fuck. Uh, I can save this, I think, maybe. Fuck, no I can't. It's, it's fine. Wait, did that even count as a death? Oh, thank God. It wasn't even a death. And this one was the one I think I had the most trouble with. Because this one, you have to fight them.
Jesus. That alone almost killed me. Still one more wave, I think. I suppose I could drop into the void to respawn back here. It'd be faster, but I don't know. I don't entirely trust it. Okay, this one's the radio signal thing. With shields, it should be fairly easy, maybe. Oh, the body locations are randomized. Oh, I can't. I can't shield. Dang. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, that was really satisfying. My super fast reaction time. Please, no explosives. As long as there's no explosives, I'll be fine. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we got it. <sighs> I 
When you try to deliberately play very carefully, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Oh right, the final boss. The final boss is going to be double damage too. Oh my god. Holy shit. Fuck. Right, it doesn't really protect you from the back. Okay. Maybe I do need to shoot them. Try number two. Damn, that thing has a lot of health. Is that one? I'm trying to find the final one. Where is it? Jesus, fuck. I need to kill somebody so I can get health. Oh, what killed me? God, this one's hard. I think I need to spot where all of them are before I start picking them up. I think when you pick up the first one, that's when it starts the hiss spawning. Alright, let's see. So there's one here, one there, and where's the third one? Oh, down below. Okay. Well, the hardest one to get is going to be this one, so let's grab this right now. Fuck. Did I dodge out of the way too soon? I dodged and it still spit on me. I guess I'll dodge twice. Oh, drop some health. <laughs> Not much. Really? Fuck. What if it might be better if I'm in the air? I don't know. 
Whew, this is hard. I'm not looking forward to the next level. Jesus. So am I going to be spawned right into the boss fight then? If the spawn point is just right here? Will the boss already be hurt or do I have to do it again? Uh, boss is not already hurt. Maybe my mistake is dodging sideways. Maybe I should dodge backwards. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. This thing has so much health. Could I potentially get more damage with something else? Is Pierce the best thing? It does a fuckload of damage. I mean, God, it, it does double damage because of the things I have on it. But would something else be better? Like, I, well, let's try grip. Eh, I don't think it was less. Maybe comparable? So let's try something other than Pierce, then. Um, I mean, if it's comparable, and this does double damage. Like, the issue with Pierce is that, because it, it has such a long charge-up time, if you miss the second shot, you basically miss half of your potential damage that you could have done during that time with your gun. So, uh, how do I un enter to unequip? Let's actually get rid of these damages. Because they're they can be used on anything, I think. So instead of Pierce, I mean, we could just go with Grip. What else would be good? Spin, probably not. I don't know. We can try it. Spin or charge, but but uh, forget the ammo cost while levitating. <laughs> Let's put damage in place of those. Where were the damages? Oh, there we go. Plus ammo cost per shot minus 24%. That's pretty good. Anything better? Headshot damage? I can't even find if that thing has a head. No, that's good. Okay, so I'll try that. Um, and then see if we still have the best thing for spins. We got accuracy 22%, rate of fire plus 55%. That's pretty good. Okay, so it spawns two extras at this difficulty. Eh, that's not very good. That is definitely not very good. Try charge. Do I still have good stuff for that? I mean, I never had that good stuff, really. Ammo cost, energy, no, just garbage. Damage against enemy armor, it doesn't have armor. Yeah, so these are completely useless. Is there something at least useful? Headshot damage, not that it matters. Energy gain from headshots plus 7%. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really have good things for charge. Uh, huh. That last one seemed to do extra damage. Why? Did I somehow hit a weak point somewhere? Like, where is that thing's weak point on its back or something? 
What if it is on the back? So I just need to zoom. Like, instead of zooming to the side or zooming backwards, what if I zoom kind of diagonal so I get behind it? Will it continue to face me or will it stay facing the wrong direction and allow me to shoot in the back? Because maybe that's the weak point. Ooh. Let me try grip, and I'm going to try to hit it in the back. Alright, I don't know what the hell happened there. It spawned a bunch, and then I got confused. <laughs> Health. Health. Ah. What was that noise? Was that Jesse taking a big deep breath? Got a level 5 shield thing, shield recharge whatever thing, <laughs> and then some other things that might be useful. And three tokens, which is how much we paid to get in there? Yeah. Let's see what exactly we got. So we got this, shield strength plus 71%, woohoo! Ammo gained per element. Pickup. Interesting. That's a unique one. Vigorous ammo refund. Plus 5% per element pickup. So that's like health recovery per element pickup. Yeah, that's a little blue dots that enemies drop. Hmm. I don't know. That's interesting. I don't think I really like it that much, though. Did I get a weapon mod or anything? Maybe this... Hmm. All right. Let's go in again. Player... No! You can... <laughs> this is a joke, right? This... Fucking hell. Okay. Player weapon damage. Excluding spin. My most hated weapon, minus 75% damage. Enemy resistance to all weapon damage, plus 50%. Player weapon damage, plus 150%. Okay, so basically I have to use spin if I want my weapons to have any real effect. And the enemies are more resistant. But still, even being more resistant... Even being more resistant... Uh, they're 50% more resistant. I do 150% more damage, so in the end I'm going to do 100% more damage. So basically double damage with spin. I guess that's not so bad. I think those conditions are randomly generated, so I could probably try my luck again if I really, really didn't want to try it, but... Maybe I'll learn to love the spin. It's going to be hard to choose the mods for it. Just to not tempt me, can I just unequip one of these two? I guess I probably can't. That's replaced that with spin. Oh, spin is not even upgraded all the way. Oops. I would have to abandon the expedition to upgrade it. Oh well. So, what do I want? Accuracy plus 22%. That's good. Rate of fire plus 55%. Also good. Those might be the two ones that I want. Um, 
Ammo cost per shot, minus 24%. I guess it just accuracy and rate of fire. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, what's the point of rate of fire when I can increase the damage by pretty much the same amount, right? If it shoots 55% faster, that's equivalent to doing 55% more damage, right? So if I use this damage boost, I get basically the same thing, and I don't go through ammo as fast. Yeah. Do I want this accuracy? Like, maybe I just want pure damage. Let's try it. Two damages. So that's a double damage plus double damage because of the bonus we have going on in the expedition. Okay. Um, it's also worth thinking about the fact that because I'm relying on, I'm going to be relying on launching a lot more than my weapon, probably, I should probably really focus on launching. Health recovery per element pickup, that is really important. So I do want to keep that. Launch energy cost, super important. Health, I mean, health is also important, but maybe ener focusing on energy and launching might be more important than health because it protects my health. Then again, the enemies don't do more damage. That's not one of the conditions that's going on right now. Right? They're more resistant to my damage, but they don't do more damage to me. They don't do double damage like they did last time. Which, what does that mean? I don't need to worry about my health as much, I guess. Which means I can extra get rid of this, I guess, maybe. So another launch energy cost down, I could do that. Or do I have an energy recovery speed? Yeah, energy recovery speed plus 35%. That would also be great. 34%, 35%. Yeah, so what's better? 35% energy recovery speed or 20% launch energy cost? So huh. I guess the thing is with a full bar, fully charged, launch efficiency allows you to shoot more in a continuous stream without stopping, whereas energy recovery speed is more efficient over time. It will allow you to ultimately launch more things, but you have to take breaks more often. I don't know. Energy recovery speed? Ah! Bonkered our head. Yeah, honestly, without the double damage being done to us, I this might not be that hard. At least not just because of the stats. I mean, everything... Like, the enemies they're going to throw at us are going to be harder than normal. More dense. And higher level, I'm sure. Christ, that did so much damage. Holy shit. I think now's the time to test whether this works. 
like safely. Oh, okay, it returns you to the last position, so it can't be used as a shortcut. I was also keeping an eye on the clock to see whether it maybe gives you a time penalty, but it doesn't. appreciate them using restrictions that for basically force you to use a weapon that you're not necessarily comfortable with and don't necessarily like. Kind of forced to just try to make it work. That's pretty cool. It's interesting. Ooh. Oh, apparently that did do it. blew up before I could capture their brains. Did not want to be down there.
<laughs> Get him. Hear it. I think it's down here. health. Need health. I gotta get my health up before I try to loot this thing. Okay, that should be enough. Come on, 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 come on. Fuck! Okay, actually, no, it's fine. That's fine. I finished it. It'll teleport me back. That's actually a good thing. It's speeding it up, right? Ah, this is stressful. I hope this expedition gear is worth it. God, I hope it looks really cool. Alright, where are they all? There's two. Where's the third? Is it down below? Is it? Ah, oh, fuck. Of 
Could it be up there? Would they do that? No, they didn't put it up there. Thank God. I still don't know where that last one is. Am I missing something obvious? Like, there's not that many places it could be. this last fight gonna be now, huh? It's gonna have even more health? I've got ten minutes, so I've got a good number of tries at this, although it's less time than I had before during my last attempt. That was quite effective. <laughs> Fuck. Health, 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 health. Oh, yes! Fuck yeah, that was actually easier than the second level. Oh, that expedition suit, costume gear. We got a special something plus expedition gear. Let's see what we got and then look at the gear. Saving the gear for last. Was it a weapon mod? What was it? Yes. Source gain from headshots. Oh, so you actually get source points from headshots. Dang. That is unique, but the thing is, I don't really care about that. Oh well, that's not really why I did it anyway. I did it for this.
Oh, hell yeah. Now that is tactical gear. Is that the first one with new hair? So civilian and candidate P7 have the same hair. Golden suit. Yeah, golden suit has the same hair. So this is the first one with unique hair. I wish I could move Jesse around. I assume they have like a ponytail back there. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's really cool. Oh, look at all the... Got a gas mask on her belt that flops around when we move and our ponytail moves. What do you think we have in our backpack? Snacks, right? I love how it looks. It does look very warm, though. Like, that neck thing looks like it's meant for winter climates? Is it cold here? I don't think so. But I guess Jesse can take it. Lots of errors on this. Victory lap. 